Chosen ones, welcome back to another video. This is John and welcome to my journey. As you can see, the sun is about to set one more time. I think we came a little bit early. Guys, bear with me. There are a lot of distractions. I'm trying to make videos. I'm trying to do my work. And there's people like from all over the world just messaging me and telling me this and telling me that. Guys, hold your horses. I need to rest. Okay, as I told you, the ministry is under attack. Okay. So I don't need extra burden. Don't tell me anything. Just let it be. Don't bother me. Just let me do the videos. I needed a little bit of rest because I have a lot of distractions. And just pray for me, please, because these uh, attacks, uh, they're going to go away. The, the phase is temporary, okay? Like, don't message me right now. These few days, just hold your horses and don't message me. I need to rest a little bit. Anyways, um, did I say this? Welcome to another video. This is John. Welcome to my journey. I think I did. If I didn't, I'll say it again. There you go. We're going to make it. Okay, prophetic word. Some of you, this is not for everybody. Some of you are going to become worldwide sensations. God has brought you, heard your cries, and He has seen your pain. Okay? And he knows that a lot of opportunities and blessings were stolen from you by other people because they were intimidated by your anointing. You see, you're famous in the spiritual realm. Angels know you. You have heavenly riches. And these blessings are now manifesting slowly. God is manifesting them in this realm. The devil knows this also. The whole spiritual realm knows. The heaven knows and hell knows. And you get caught in the crossfire. Everybody's fighting. God is trying to give you blessings. He's trying to, to like, one well, not trying. He's, he's winning the battle. And the devil is just trying to destroy whatever he can. He's trying to distract you. Okay. And you'll be working on some stuff and then you have some dreams about your life that didn't get, become fulfilled and always dreamed of what it'd be how it'd be nice it would be for me to be on a platform and get recognized you know and do this based on my work and all that and you have all the potential all the skills all the experience and all that everything had to come to pass for you to get ready for this blessing you'll be waiting for years and years about this you know and some of you have been hurt so much that you would just want to keep it private. You don't know how to handle what it's going to be like to become a celebrity. Millions will know about you. You're going to come up with an idea or a creative project with music or film or business or something like that. It's going to help a lot of people. It's going to give them hope. It's going to give them courage. And... God is bringing the right people into your life and He's guiding you. The Holy Spirit is guiding you and some of you have entered your season of abundance but you got to make sure that you don't have any spirits, familiar spirits cohabitating with you. I'm not saying you're possessed or anything like that but trying to stall you, trying to make you miss your blessing. Okay, God is warning you right now. He's sending you dreams. He's sending you revelations. He tries to speak to you. He's giving you visions. Okay, for you to be able to uh, understand what's going on and to fight back. Some of you are reluctant, like you have doubts because you're being hurt for so long. And you don't like, is this really true? Or is this going to be taken away from me again? God reassures you right now that this is your blessing. This is your time of elevation. And this is your time for you to be glorified. Well glorified. The glory goes to Him. You know. Don't say, well, I don't know. What if? What if this? What if that? You know. And... You know, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to doubt yourself. Because if you're not ready to receive the blessing, God's not going to give it to you. If you have some sort of spiritual issues, God's not going to give you the blessing. 
first he has to get rid of that spirit he has to get rid of those he has to increase your faith and then he's gonna have to make you spiritual ready to receive the blessing sometimes it hurts sometimes you receive it and you're like yes we'll do it and then you got to do the work that's needed okay there are people around you that are praying for you that are watching you that take some people are working on your behalf behind your back okay remember God is sending these people to you they know what you're worth you just have to believe in yourself and follow God okay in order for these things to manifest in your life okay you need the, the guidance of the Holy Spirit you need to grow closer to him spiritually be able to discern and what you're going to achieve is going to be magnificent it's going to be out of this world so much creativity the anointing will ooze around you and be careful guys when you work in a team of people you got to be everybody has to be on the same page and say let's do this and this is what God is asking you to do everybody has to be on the same page when it comes to building the right teams like have to be chosen ones that have to be anointed that have to be there that it has to be people who want this they're not like oh I don't know I guess we can do it no there are no doubts here if you're like you don't know or you're not sure that means no you're not, you can't be part of the team okay any spiritual issues that are hindering you right now God will reveal them to you and he's going to fight for you you have to seek him and he's gonna have to fight for you and to deliver you from these hindering spirits okay we all and I'm not saying guys we're and nobody's perfect okay we're not expecting people to be perfect everybody has their own demons to conquer everybody me you your cousin your brother your friends the other chosen all chosen ones okay we have to let the Holy Spirit simply take over our bodies and our souls and our spirits everything for his glory okay God is a mighty plan we can't go against it to not go against it you're gonna have a lot of you have like to stay private a lot of you chosen ones I have to stay private and if some of you are gonna become worldwide famous and people people are gonna be shocked like you have to learn to you're gonna have a somehow like you like to stay private but God is gonna show you off we well, not show you off he's gonna show off his power through you he's gonna put you on a pedestal and people when they come to you when they come to you they're gonna be shocked like you are this person I can't believe it's you I can't believe you're here you're what are you doing here they're gonna ask you all these questions you're gonna be in the spotlight God's gonna put you on the spotlight And remember guys remain humble pray for others do not brag because do not have do not brag and do not uh, and do repentances daily keep it real it's too much pressure man to be on the spotlight I know too much pressure everybody's star truck tell them calm down guys I'm just a normal person everybody else make sure you tell them that so people will be kind of like turned off and then they are gonna feel more comfortable with you it's like this guy you know simple person this girl is a very simple person it is really open to to be approached and just simple to talk to and all that you know what I mean so 
God is going to bless you mightily. You're going to go to something that's going to bring a lot of hope in this world. And guys, I'm going to tell you something that world of events, the events, the, the worldly events that are happening right now with Iran and Israel and all that show that the, that the world is collapsing, is ready to collapse. We're going for World War Three. And the timing could not be better for you in order to come into this position of power and authority. Everybody's going to come. All the chosen ones are really close going to come in position of power and authority. There's going to be vindication. Okay. It's going to be elevation. There's going to be promotion. People, you're going to become the new leaders. Like this, the old world has to collapse in order for you to take over. For God to take over. That's what he's doing simultaneously. He's like bringing everybody down who's not doing their jobs. And he's bringing you up. So some of you are going to become very worldwide. If you have any projects, you're going to attract a lot of attention. Like if you have uh, whatever it is that you're doing, music or filmmaking or writing a book, something creative or business, it's going to take off. God's going to bring you the right people and you're going to be exalted. Okay. And... Uh, you got to be able to handle it. I know it's, I know probably some of you will say, I don't want to become a celebrity. I don't want to become a millionaire. I don't want to become, I just want to have a simple life. It's fine. And I understand it's a lot of pressure for you, but you have to learn how to deal with it because this is not about you. This is about God's glory. Okay. You're famous in the spiritual realm. You're famous in the heavenly realm. And this is manifesting here now too. As it is in the heavens, so it is on earth. Okay. And. Wow, like somebody, some people, some people, millions of people will come to you, will, like, will know you. Like countries that never, you've never been to, um, they're going to know you. Like whatever is going to try to, you're going to try to create, it's going to be translated in other languages. Whether that's a movie or it's a book, you know, songs, things like that. And people will have nowhere else to turn but if, to, to, to reach out to you. And anything else that you're having to, you're doing, is going to blossom. It's going to affect all aspects of your life. It's going to be increased. Whether that's a YouTube channel, whether that's a... You know, business, people will not want to connect with you. They, they're going to see exactly. This coincides also with the blessings that we talked about in the previous videos. Okay. You're going to become a millionaire. You're not going to have lack anymore. People will look up to you. Your neighbors will be proud to talk about you. They'll say, like, this guy is our neighbor. Yes, this famous person is our neighbor. They're going to try to talk to you and reach out to you. Like, sometimes you're going to keep it private. They won't know it's you until they find out from your name. As soon as they hear your name, you're this person? Like, yeah. <laughs> it's, I don't know, man. God works in mysterious ways. It's, yeah. Guys, be, 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 stay humble. Praise the Lord, and I'm going to tell you a trick, like, don't let it take you, don't let it, like, take you, don't get over your head, okay? Keep it real. Pretend, like, praise the Lord, of course, thank Him for all the blessings, and pretend like nothing is happening. Like nothing is happening because as you come, this elevation that you're going to reach, first of all, is going to be your vindication. A lot of people have taken a lot of blessings from you away. A lot of opportunities. They spoke evil, evil things about you to cut you off from other people. See how the devil works? He uses people against you. And now, when you move up on a pedestal, they're going to see that you're way, way up there. Like, not the roof, the sky. I don't know, is there a cloud here I can show you? Here, that cloud. 
people are going to squint with their eyes to see exactly how far you went. And your testimony will be that God did it. As you can see, there's no uh, there's no sunset yet. It's not really. Let it go down a little bit. Then, if I have time, I'll show you. Okay. I don't know if I have enough time to give show you the sunset. I apologize for today. I made the uh, video early. Um, next time, we have lots of videos to make. So these people try to take these things away from you, and you're always kind of depressed and hurt, and you have doubts because you're thinking like you don't think you always had so many chances and all these opportunities and relationships and blessings that you have jobs like people disrespected you they outcasted you they tried to you know push you aside and then they got you fired they got you laid off and you know what you're wondering is this blessing gonna stay is this truly mine God wants you to know that yes it is Nobody will ever take it away. This is your season of abundance. This is for some of you that you're entering your season of abundance right now. Okay? Of course, um, God is bringing these people together in order to, uh, how should I say, do projects, work together for His name. And He's going to provide every single thing that you need. Every single thing. God is with you and he always wins and the fact that you're watching this video the fact that you reached out to this ministry well somehow God speaks to you and says like you know what this video is for you we try to help as many people as possible give them spiritual guidance try to the team pro prophets are trying to prophesy them. I do apologize if we you don't re sometimes we don't respond to others. We read the emails. It's just that we are getting so much attack that we're not always present. And uh, you can see it. I don't have to tell you. I mean, if you notice that if your if your comments are disappearing, if people try to tie to this ministry, they can't tie. Something happens. Trust me, guys. The ministry right now, the YouTube channel is not growing as fast as, as, as it did before. Like barely 10 subscribers per video. Sometimes it used to be like 20, 30 subscribers. Now it's like barely 10. You know, the devil is attacking this ministry. He's using the algorithm. Guys, fret not and worry not because these attacks will end. The devil has lost the game already. He's just being desperate. Okay. So, please continue to tie to this ministry. Support us. We're already helping people in need. Um, our finances are under attack. Like, we don't make as much tithings as we did before. Um, but we're hanging in there. We're going to continue to help no matter what, as much as we can. Um... Please continue to try. If not, just pray for us. Pray for us. And guys, I'm going to tell you something that these are blessings for you as well when you bless this ministry. It's a fertile ground. God will bless you based on exactly what you're praying for. And um, we have testimonies about that. Like we have testimonies and we um, people have been delivered, have been healed. Great job opportunities, financial blessings, left and right, business uh, opportunities, and things are working out, out just fine in their lives. Reconciliations, kingdom spouse reconciliations, gang stocking stop because of the spiritual warfare prayers. Like this ministry is working. Okay, we're just getting attacked, and guys, forgive me because I, it's right now we're getting attacked, and I don't have. As much as support as I should have to like to look after the ministry completely because the ministry is growing and we have a team of prophets we have another person actually working for us but it just like like it requires more this ministry requires more because these people are getting paid like they have bills to pay they have rent to pay our finances they're okay 
Like right now we'll Anyways, I'm not gonna tell you that, it's fine. But we'll just pray for us. Just pray for us. But it's, these attacks, these they have to stop. It's temporary. Like we can only pray right now and just keep going. Somehow we gotta keep going. Even if we're so completely exhausted and tired, we gotta keep going. So check out the spiritual warfare prayers. Check out the spiritual warfare prayers and download them. If not, just email me so I can email them to you. Download them and uh, use them daily because God will fight for you. If you have any problems, any gang stalking, any witchcraft, any like familiar spirits you need to get rid of, any monitoring spirits, anything that's sabotaging your life and is not helping you grow closer to God, use it. Use the spiritual warfare prayers and fight back. Okay, that will help you. Now, um, check out the Udemy YouTube course. I reduced the price. It's steady now. It's about $19.99 US. It's the lowest price I could give. Uh, it doesn't go after that. It's free, but we, we need to make some money so um, to um, that go in the ministry. So it's affordable. I know you guys that the price was a little bit high and people are struggling and all that. And I brought the price down. So you're more than welcome to use it and uh, download it, and access it, and just well, not download it, access it, and uh, start your YouTube channel. And uh, take advantage. If your calling is to start a YouTube, do it because the time is now. And later on, if you miss the opportunity, then later on, the time is going to be later on. Like YouTube is the second largest search engine on the internet. It's a search engine. Anyways, um, check out the YouTube channels that I have. Yanis Kappa, Heaven Heaven Sounds, Yanis Kappa Guitar. And I'm going to tell you guys something. Check it out. Check them out. And uh, subscribe. Uh, listen to the music. The music is anointed. It will help you actually calm down and relax. And uh, support the channels as much as possible. Okay? Um, I have to find time. As soon as I rest a little bit, I'm going to find time to make some music. I'm just overwhelmed right now, guys. I do apologize. It's like right now, I need rest. I need rest. It's just, everything's in the back of your head because you have to think so much that it's hard to keep up with everything um, and I don't want to get a burnout because if I get a burnout I have to start making videos and rest and then what's gonna happen to you guys I gotta keep making videos so we can support you you know to help you guys out I don't know if you guys can see the sunset I think it's better you can see a little bit anyways um, you're going to become a worldwide sensation, a worldwide famous. You're going to become worldwide famous. Millions of people will know you. Um, you're going to have influence and power. It's going to be sudden. You know what I mean? Somehow God's going to bless you. He's going to give you the means and the right people and the finances to do this. He's going to create breakthroughs for you. And people are going to support you. He's going to send you destiny helpers to support you for your cause. Um, many blessings like you're gonna become vibrant in spirit body and soul you're gonna heal completely anything that's hindering you it's gonna be removed completely out of the way your enemies out of the way everything your the doors are opening up right now and blessings jobs uh, opportunities the right people groups of people who are coming in together they're gonna help you out you're going to start working with them together. And everybody's going to be on the same page. You know what I mean? Sorry. Here. You can see a little bit. So, financial blessings are going to come. Expansion. Your reputation going to increase. And any enemy that you had before that was trying to bring you down because they had issues with themselves... They're going to realize exactly who you really were. 
and they're gonna look at you. Trust me, guys, these people are gonna come back. Be very careful, be very discerning. Don't tell anything on what you're doing right now, what God has in store for you. Do not tell a soul, okay? For those of you that some of you are gonna become world famous, like do not tell anybody because these people who distracted you and they took from you, they're gonna try to come back to you. You know what, they haven't changed. They haven't changed. Stick with the people that God is sending you only, okay? Discern, very much so, because the other people who took from you, they're gonna try to do the same thing and take from you again. Do not allow them to come back. Do not allow them. Now, um, as I said, expansion is coming. Your reputation goal is going to increase. On every aspect of your life, there's going to be increase, and that requires that anything that hinder you and try to uh, destroy you, narcissistic people, gang stalking, witchcraft, like all these things always go together. There's a lot of narcissism in this world, which means like don't watch too much social media. Minimize it. Don't watch, don't exalt people and what they tell you. Don't focus on God, okay? He's the one you can rely on. So, and stay humble, guys. Stay humble. Like, always pray. Ask God to give you humility as much as possible. And I'm sorry to say this, but many times this, it, it comes through pain. You know what I mean? Because humility, humility will bring you elevation. You will understand the, people, the, the people's pain and understanding. And you will not, the glory of God, actually get over your head. And it doesn't matter if you're, you can be selfish and be a chosen one, you know, guys. Because remember, like, it's better to be a repentant sinner than to be a selfish chosen one. Okay? There's going to come huge pain and suffering if you have ego. And I've seen this in some chosen ones. I'm thinking like, okay, you know what? That's going to be a problem for you. Anyways, so we all have to go through the same process. Like I had the ego too in the past and I had to be humbled. Like God brought me some situations and, but trust in him because he knows what he's doing. Anyways, back to the subject. There's going to be more opportunities and career opportunities for you, door opportunities opening up for you. People will come to you and offer you like, um, opportunities for you to work on. So take those opportunities. Okay. Discern guidance. God will give you guidance in these things and will help you out. Okay. So everything's going to go well in your life. Everything's going to be all right. This for a lot of you are going to come into position of power authority and some of you are going to become world famous. Worldwide sensation. We're talking about millions and millions of people. You know. Do not forget about God. You're going to become busy. Very busy. Okay. Remember, guys, that being busy will make you my distraction from the Lord. Okay. Keep your life simple. Keep your life simple. Pray to him daily. Don't forget. Like dedicate at least half hour to one hour. If you're busy, half hour to one hour, like hello God, this is you. I know I know you like you gave me all these blessings. I'm very busy, but I will never forget you. I will keep praying to you. Worship him fast. Pray, read the Bible, connect with them. Okay. You don't deserve, like, it would be really ungrateful if we just forgot about him while we receive his blessings after all these things that he done for us. He fought our battles. He literally annihilated the enemy. And he took us from the depths of our sin and he took us up on a pedestal. He glorified us. He glorified us. And they're like, this is my child. I am behind him. I am the Lord and Savior. This is how I bless. That's what she's going to say. And people are going to see this. They're going to look at you. Wow. This is how God mighty is. God is much closer to people than they think. He doesn't speak during the tests and the trials that we go through. But he's there. He's there. You know. So lean on to him. And guys, um, in the next few years, you're going to see mighty changes. Uh, people are going to run to you. 
your anointing is going to become fresh, much more powerful, much more vibrant. You're going to be, you're going to give a lot of people hope. Your words will speak power. Your, your words already speak power, but you know, it's going to become much more strong, much stronger than it was before. Enjoying the sunset? Huh? <laughs> so not to worry, guys. Everything's going to be okay. Everything's going to be okay. And the funny thing is probably not, not even your parents know about what you're doing, or what's happening in your life. Do not tell a soul nothing because the devil will try to use anybody uh, to try to stop you. Like, why are you doing this? Are you crazy? Where did you add that these people? What are you what are you talking about? You're working on this music album and blah blah blah. And how did you meet these people? You don't know who they are. And like they don't know. But God is bringing with these people. They don't understand. Keep silent. Keep silent. Let God do the work. Don't try to it's it, it will be braggadocious if you do this. It will backfire and it will cause you unnecessary warfare. Let God do the work. Rest in his arms, rest in his hands, and just keep going. You know what I mean? Everything's going to be okay. I know I say that a lot. I know. Probably you guys are laughing, but I know. But it's to encourage you to stay focused on him. It's to encourage you. Can you, see, can you guys hear the bell? It's very subtle. Don't worry. God's got you. He's using both his hands. He's using both of his hands to keep you covered. Okay, remember to get yourself spiritually ready. Stay close to him. Pray, fast, worship, read the Bible. Do all these things. Okay. Show obedience. In order for him to bless you, to prepare you, he's going to elevate you. It's a process. A lot of things don't happen overnight. It takes years of preparation. First of all, he has to prepare you to lead to the right direction. You know, and if you look back on your life, when you reach that destination and your position where he wants you to be, like, of course, the game is not going to end. It's just, you're going to continue on to work for him. But you're going to look back when you have much more clarity and less distraction. You're going to realize, now I realize why all these things happen in my life. Now I see why everything happened into my life. Because as you search yourself, you will realize exactly that everything had a purpose. The humbleness. How to learn to deal with narcissistic people, with manipulated people, people who are jealous. The, the devil is using so, so, so many people. They're using gang stalkers. They're using witches and warlocks, psychics, mediums. People seeing in the spiritual realm. And now that you're spiritual ready, he's opening the doors for you. He's removing all obstacles. He's finishing off your enemies. You know, to put you to the pedestal. And you know what? When your blessing comes, it's going to block your enemies. They won't be able to do anything. Your enemies will be utterly humiliated. You're going to expose them completely for who they are. And they're going to lose their power and their influence. Their power is already diminishing. Their power is already diminishing. Okay. This gang sucking thing is happening, and which is like, no, judgment is coming this year, guys. This year. Anyways, that's another video that I'm going to make. And the sun has already set. You can see just a little bit. Anyways, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. May the Lord bless you. And remember, Jesus Christ of Nazareth is always on the throne. Take care.